Answer says some people say that if a person takes drugs or alcohol, they shouldn't pray for 40 days. Is that true? Of course, this is absolutely false. And this is just to make uh, the, the case worse because the hadith does not say that. Yes, there is a hadith which says that if a person drinks alcohol, his prayer would not be accepted from him for 40 days. This is a punishment, not a reward and a privilege like, okay, if you drink alcohol, you should not be prayed, uh, praying for 40 days because you'll be exempt. That doesn't make any sense. Rather, it means that if any person were to drink alcohol, his prayer for 40 days would not be accepted as long as he drinks unless if he seeks forgiveness and repents. So if he repents, his prayer will be accepted. So even if the person is drinking, you should offer the prayer still. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ankabut, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ The prayer prevents the person from indecency and evil. Even if you're doing it, the prayer would eventually prevent you. The prayer will make you a better person. But when you draw from the prayer and you become disconnected from any relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happened? A shaitan will single you out and he will capture you and overcome you entirely. So the hadith which says that the person who drinks his prayer would not be accepted for 40 days is a serious warning that you shouldn't be drinking. And if you drink, you have to quickly repent lest your prayer would not be accepted. And another reason why this understanding is absolutely false, as the understanding of that uh, you shouldn't be praying for 40 days, that you know, if you miss one single prayer deliberately, that is worse than committing adultery, that is worse than drinking and being uh, addict, an alcoholic for missing one single prayer deliberately. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best.